So Christmas is a coming and what we thought we'd do, what I thought we'd do, is give you some presents. Nice. Um, so what I've done is I've picked 10 things and I've wrapped them and um, I'm going to give them to you. Okay. And you're going to love them. Okay. Before we do that, I bought you this present. I'm not putting it on. You have to put it on. I don't want to put it on. I've I'm got mine on. on. I'm, I'm not I have, on. So we sell these in the mm. shop. This is basically one big plug video for loads of Christmas stuff. Yeah, which is exciting. I love Christmas, but I hate Christmas jumpers. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Was that working out for you? No, not here at all. <laughs> uh, these are, just to, to give that plug, um, we are selling a bunch of, well, Marshall and Fender Christmas jumpers. Um, I don't know how much they are. But they look fetching, mate. Yeah, that's what they look like. <laughs> hey. And it's a good thing we, uh, we've got these jumpers at the moment because it's bloody cold out there. Isn't that right? Yeah. Are you talking about keeping warm? Yeah. Well, you can actually keep yourselves beautifully warm with these unbelievably beautiful woolly hats by the Guitar and Keyboard Centre. And what's that you've got under there? Well, seeing as it's coming to the period where it's clear skies and the sun's out, to keep warm but to stay safe from the sun hitting your eyes, buy yourselves one of these gat caps. Okay, so you want a present? Yeah, go on then. First present is this one. This one here? Yeah. Can I shake any of them? It sounds like it's got liquid in it. Shake it. Oh, it does have liquid in Is it coffee? No. Gak, Gak, Gak aren't known for selling. Gak branded coffee? Yeah. Coming That's an idea, CEO. Four. Gaz, make some Gak branded coffee. Oh, okay. What do we have? So first up is um, one of the Gibson uh, care kits, basically. Gibson yep. guitar care kits, but it doesn't necessarily have to be just for your Gibson guitars. It doesn't. Um, it comes with uh, a multitude of cloths, it comes with a guitar strap, and it comes with a fretboard conditioner and a body cleaner. Um, and I believe uh, some other liquids in there as well. There's uh, like a metal and tarnish cleaner, um, a fretboard conditioner, and then a body spray. Indeed. Not for your body, for your guitar's and body. you are a Gibson man. I do love Gibson guitars. So I thought I'd get you a Gibson uh, thing. I can't open it, I've got any nails. That's um, fine. But yeah, that's we'll, a really we'll fly cool through one. Them. I like that one. Uh, all the links for all these gifts are, um, are in the description box below. And I didn't mention, and the title will say, um, these are all for under 50 quid. Under 50 quid. All under 50 quid. Yeah. What have you got there? Hi. Um, that's a really good mince pie. It's got brandy in. Should be, shouldn't be drinking on the job. That uh, mince pie looks a bit dry. You were a bit thirsty, mate. I am, Mark. I'm going to take this GAC branded bottle opener and crack myself a cold one. <laughs> Is this how you're going to wrap for your family? <laughs> That's what I think of you. Um, but a, a genuine oh. leather Gibson guitar strap. Diamonds. Uh, oh, like a Les Paul Custom. Yeah, because I know that you, your favorite, Joss's favorite guitar ever is a uh, Custom 51. Nine. Sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want. Les Paul 59. Yeah. God, what happened to my brain? And I thought this would be a lovely uh, addition. The next year I'll get you the guitar. The, so, so this is a genuine leather uh, premium guitar strap from Gibson Guitars. So if you're looking for something really, really cool, actually, as a guitar strap present, it's under 50 quid. These guitar straps by Gibson are usually well over that price point. It's definitely and, and worth do you know taking what? a look at that. We don't just sell uh, guitar straps by Gibson. We also sell Gibson guitars. And we sell Gibson uh, straps by all the brands. And acoustics. I'm doing little winks to this camera. This is my camera, Bing. this is your camera. Give, give it a wink. Next up. I don't know what that is. It's a small one. It's a small one. Hey. Just like me, someone called me a hobbit. Someone said. Someone called you a hobbit? Someone said, this boy needs to be in Lord of the Rings because he just screams <laughs> hobbit. Oh, online? Yeah. It's your hair at the moment. Why? Doesn't look hobbity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just short. You look. Yeah, I'm short too. How tall are you? 5'8? No, 5'6. Five, 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 you are short. 5'6 with size 8 feet. Not really hobbit feet then. No. Oh, it's invisible. <laughs> oh, it's a bottle slide. Yeah, well, we were, we were talking about all the aerial... My favourite guitar player Posen ever, Ariel Posen. Um, he's nailing life. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's not my size. No, well... I'd like to return this. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> You've got the receipt. Uh, um, but I was thinking about this, and it's something I've always wanted to, to, to use more. It is, yeah. Um, and Ariel does it so well. I thought it could... does be, make it look easy, doesn't he? He does make it look easy. It's something that I'd love to really get into. That snarky puppy, Mark... Uh, Mark Letary. Yeah, was, uh, he did that cover of um, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Yeah. Tears for Fears. And it's amazing. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And they got the old... Um, lap steel. Lap steel guy. It's a good job I'm here. <laughs> I was getting there. <laughs> was, you're doing that finishing sentence and not anything. Like we finish each it's other's good you don't know anyone sandwiches. With a, it's good you don't know anyone with a stutter. True. You're the only guy I know. I have a lift, not a stutter. Don't knock a speech impediment, it's not very nice. Only knocking yours. What do you do? Just put a sellotape in a big circle round it! How am I supposed to get to it, dude? Oh, this <laughs> one's exciting. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. This is actually a cool one, though, to be fair. Um, we were talking about this, I'm going to be very transparent. We were talking about how I could be, like, genuine about these, you yeah. know? But it's hard to be genuine when you get given a capo. You have to go... Oh! What? Socks! <laughs> <laughs> no, because I actually... Capos are really useful. No, to be honest, the only reason it's like you that to me is because I've never used one. Uh, no, know. but I'm delving into it's the acoustic guitar world, so give me my capo, man. <laughs> uh, nice. This is a, a G, uh, G7th These are too. incredible. These are... They are at the pricier end of the capo series is that we do sell. But um, they are one of the best. These and Kaiser Capos. Why are they one of the best? Uh, I'm returning this for a Kaiser. What are you okay. taking my coffee <laughs> for, bro? <laughs> really? um, no, um, yeah, these ones and the Kaiser Capos are my definite favorite uh, acoustic guitar Capos. I really like them. And uh, yeah, th I really like them as well, which is why I picked it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, obviously there's a, there's a billion. Um, there's not a billion, that's not a fact. There's um, a lot. There's a you lot can go of all, in our store, you can go all the way from 699 mm -hmm. up to about 40 quid for a Capo. Yeah. So, Come into the store or look online and check out the deals that we've got. Oh, well, Mark, I really like coffee, but sometimes in the afternoon, I like to be naughty. Got. I'm going to give you a big one. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey. It's a calendar. It is. I thought I'd go for Holly Oaks, uh, Muscular Men. Everybody, please see the quality of wrapping there. <laughs> you like Holly Oaks, sir. Hollyoaks? Yeah, it's the, nice. the man's fireman calendar. With all the actors from Hollyoaks. I prefer to have a Joss Allen calendar. Hands up, everybody Everybody in the chat. Thumbs up if you want a Joss Allen calendar. I would love to see a Joss Oh, Allen. this is cool. This is this is really cool. It is cool, right? This is a Fender... It depends on what... It is a Strat. This is a Fender Stratocaster there's cutting a, board. There's a telly as well, isn't it? Yeah, and there's Let a bass one. On all because all. there's a bass one. Because this is actually something I want in my house. Exactly. But I keep... Procrastinating. Yeah, I keep going, oh, I'll get that, I'll get that. Yeah, this is definitely something that I'd love to have because in Because everyone well. needs a chopping board. Why wouldn't you have it in the shape of a guitar? Onions and peppers become more joyfully cut on a Fender chopping board. What about meat? Pardon? What about meat? Yeah, true. I mean, then you have to really clean And it. it's bamboo, so it's environmentally friendly. Thank you, Fender. Uh, I mean, Mark. Well, I, <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah. I didn't have. I, I didn't. I ran out of paper. If I'm honest. Okay. Well, um, th things like this are really cool. I kind of bought it for myself. You don't live with me, so <laughs> no, <I> mean, <laughs> you're not having it. But um, because uh, you. I mean, you don't really. I mean, you do actually. You because you got an album coming out soon. I do. Isn't Nothing that's going to incorporate <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, what I'm saying is, you, a lot of people are recording at home now. Um, and for like a little MIDI kind of... So let me just tell you really quickly before you... before you The, the whole thing is, is that the reason why this is going to be incredibly useful anyway to me is because something, for example, like the single that I'm releasing is a means to an end, right? Once that's out, I can move on and I can start looking at other things. And the good thing about this is that they are tools. They're inspiration devices. Yes. Um, plug it into a MIDI. If you've got downloaded software and stuff, then you can control it all via this, including the drums. Um, so something like this is actually very useful if you're, as Mark said, recording at home. True representation of recording at home. Finger drums. That wasn't a superhero thing, it was. It? Now this one's going to come in really useful. Okay. Um, it's a talent. Well, I just thought, you know, for you, it'd be, it would Talent. be, 
this is this, this, the paper ran out, so this is the what cardboard is tube. <laughs> wow, it's really like easy to get hold of. Malleable is what I was looking Malleable. for. Malleable. Christ. Oh, okay, yeah. A cruise tools, Groove Tech drum, drum, mul drum. <laughs> It's all, a drum multiple. Uh, we had to all incorporate drummers. all, all uh, genres of the industry. All ways of life. Um, Let me just see, because I believe I can get this out. Oh no, I can't, it's stapled. But if there's, there are multiple different sizes of Allen keys. So it's called a drum key, a drum tool, but it can be used for your electric guitar. I'll equipment. do close-ups of all these um, so you can see. But at the same time, not only is that great, but cruise tools in general, if you come into the store, we do the Fender cruise tools as well. Um, well, we do a multitude of different cruise tools which allow you to work on all the different types of equipment that you have, whether it be drums, guitar. Different screwdriver sizes. Um, um, really handy. Mm. It's really good. I Not love good. a mince pie. Do you know, I, I'm into the, um, the really cheap ones that you get for like 50p from like, you know, God, God knows what's in them. I don't know where they got these ones from. I think, I think someone bought them in. Yeah, someone bought them in, but these are some of the best shop-bought mince pies I've had. Cheaper the better for me. Um, I think you have to go high-end, either really expensive or real cheap. Marks and Spencers or co-op. Uh, sorry none of the uh, presents are written on with tags. I couldn't find a pen. Oh, wow. That's surprising, Mark, seeing as we have GAC-branded pens. Look at you making a mess. Hey! Another useful piece of equipment. Well, we're just getting you ready for your home studio, right? So what these are are Shaw SRH 2408s. Yeah, professional quality headphones. Now, as I said, all these are gifts are for under 50 quid. So if you go above 50 quid, you will get um, more expensive headphones from Shaw and other brands. <laughs> <laughs> without, without. <laughs> just, there's a 100% fact for you there. Like that's just the most factual thing you can ever have. <laughs> So we're moving on from these headphones and maybe spending more money to get more expensive headphones. <laughs> Give me this. What have we got here? Oh, it's a me pink. Uh, is um, this clothing? It is. Mm. You got that right. Fender is a lifestyle brand, not only an electric guitar company. It's the same as, I don't know, Slash or Ozzy Osbourne. It's like a household name. Yeah. And um, Fender have, you know, delved into the, the, the lifestyle branding um, for a long time now, whether it be t-shirts, the same as Gibson, whether it be t-shirts, pens, jumpers, <coughs> mugs, chopping boards, everything. Um, and I think they do a really good job of it because it's a true representation of what you love as a guitar player. It's a very visceral experience playing the guitar. And us as guitar players love to sort of adorn the brands that we it's like. Weird because to prove a point, it's like an animalistic thing, isn't it? Hang on. There you go. There you go. He's wearing that. Um, and it's just the same, you know, because you hope in, in one day that as you're walking down the street wearing your favorite branded t-shirt by a guitar company you love that someone stops you and goes cool t-shirt cool man. man and then your day is fulfilled do that with fender and the thing is i, I like to be honest there are some really rank t-shirts out there from mm -hmm. companies um but just having that a black t-shirt with the fender logo I yeah think and they do the white cool. one with the black and they this do. is obviously the spaghetti one i'm wearing the strat one under here Fender jumper. I mean, this is and cool. then you're wearing the 80s one on the underneath. Yeah, the Strat one. Yeah, yeah the Strat one, yeah, yeah. which is a logo that they used in the 80s for a specific guitar called the um, the HM Strat, which is the heavy metal Strat. Um, super 80s. They should definitely reissue that brand, uh, that guitar and that style because it's very cool. Sweet. My coffee's uh, getting a bit cold. Is yours? Funnily enough, no. Because I've got one of these GAC Thermal mugs. Keeps my coffee warm. Keeps me warm. Um, mate, there's only one more left. Cool, okay. Oh no, there's another one. I'm fine with this. No, there's another one. There's an I've got you an extra one. This is weighty. Now everyone gets this present at Christmas, I think. Not this exact one. Or like a birth, when you don't know what to buy someone. You buy them vouchers. Is this just a box of vouchers? No, although we are selling vouchers. We do sell GAC vouchers as well. Um, yeah. What? Is this like industrial strength tape? No, you know the, the, the box? Tape, yeah, like it's, like, it's like industry heavy tape. 
Oh, I've, of course. Something that every single coffee-loving guitar player should own. This a is, branded when mug. When I first worked here, when I first came to this company two years ago, this is the mug that someone gave me. And I just fell in love with it. So I thought I'd give it to you two years later. It's not the same mug, is it? <laughs> no, it's a, that went walkabouts. But this is a really cool one. And Music Man, Ernie Ball, that's so underrated. Still underrated. Not amongst guitar players. I think, I think, a lot, I think, ooh. But at the end of the day, the most important things in life is coffee and guitars. Yeah. And you need to be able to consume coffee to yeah. play guitar. Yeah. Small. Red. Attractive. Okay, badges. Now, there's one more. I can't close it. I didn't really wrap it because I ran out of paper. Oh, well, that visually obvious guitar stand. Yeah. I'll help you unwrap it. Thank you. This is, to be honest, this was just, this was in the room because we use it every day. Um, but it's probably one of the most important pieces of equipment you could think of. But I just wanted to mention it. <laughs> oh, just leave. Um, just. I'm finished. There we are talking about the environment. Yeah, but that bubble wrap's going to be used. Yeah. Reused. So, so this is in the room every day, and I saw it, and I and because this is for under fifty quid. Mm -hmm. um, and what I just think it these Hercules ones are just literally personally, if you can, if you go into a guitar store and you go, could I please have a um, a guitar stand for my room or for my rehearsal space or whatever, um, and they go, yep, here's a ten pound stag one or here's a 30 pound Hercules one. Invest. Invest in the, uh, the decent stand. It's and especially, holding your your pride and joy. And I don't have one here, but if, imagine if you brought home a Gibson Flying V. Exactly, or just just anything that you spent your hard earned money on. You want to hang it. Hang it on something that you genuinely can trust. It, it doesn't, if you had a V that you wouldn't be able to put it on a stag. Exactly. Um, that's it. Did you enjoy that? I did, I got a selection of goodies. Um, as I said, they're all for under 50 quid. Uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of Christmas videos coming up. This is just a, a, a little early one. We're going to do some music as well. We're going to have a little sing song at some point. For well, you and uh, Kira. Kira. Kira, who will be featuring on the channel very soon. Um, she's a new addition with a lovely voice, mm. a lovely Irish voice. Mm. Um, but that's it for now. So I've been Mark. I've been Joss. And we'll see you very soon. You need to watch that. Can you put it under? I need a bigger jumper, dude. It's like... <laughs> <laughs>